Breacher Cat has a very interesting question. A little, a little bold of me to take this question this close to the end of the stream. I saw your video about motor KV, but there's one thing I'm not getting. Let's say we have a 1408 motor versus a 2004 motor. Both have the same stator volumes, around 1250 cubic millimeters. What's the preferred balance for wire and magnet size? Um, so it, it depends, Breacher Cat. Uh, what you need to know uh, is the ratio. Uh, what's the optimal ratio that Chris Rosser gives? Like a, 2000, a 2008, so 20 divided by 8 is about 2.5, um, 2407, 24 divided by 7 is about 3.4. Uh, what's the ratio? Damn it. Oh, I can't find this. How to pick the right size motor for your build. No, not, I don't want a short. I want information. Um, what's the optimal ratio that he gives? He gives a ratio. I can find it, but we're too close to the end of the stream. Yeah, three to one is three to one the optimal ratio that he gives. Fun per volt says three to one. Let's go with that. Uh, the ratio of diameter to height. Um, there's a sort of an optimal ratio for a balance between uh, responsiveness and cooling. So a wider, flatter motor is going to have better cooling because it's got more surface area. A taller narrower motor it's going to be more responsive because the mass is close to the axis of rotation and so chris rosser gives about a three to three to one ratio is what people are I telling a, me in the chat i put a picture in chat uh, in discord if you want to look oh, real quick thank you so much plenty appreciate it man uh this is from chris rosser's video for typical freestyle motors a ratio of diameter to height of much less than three to one can lead to hot motors for hardworking motors, four to one or more will help with cooling. More than six to one will probably result in desyncs. And volume is king. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that volume around. Did you guys? Fuck. I didn't even put it on screen, did I? There you go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that volume of whatever, 1250 cubic millimeters, and then you're going to calculate the ratio of those two motors. Okay. So what you've given me is a 1408. 14 divided by 8 is 1.75 to 1. And 2004. 2004 is 5 to 1. So what we've got here is that 1408 is going to be really tall. And it's gonna heat, it's gonna have problems with heat dissipation. Right, we where it's way below that three to one recommendation, whereas the twenty oh four is at five to one, and it's going to be a little bit less responsive, but have good cooling, but it's getting close to that six to one, but it's not there yet. So of those two motors, we could conclude that the the twenty oh four is like almost certainly the preferable motor, and the 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 ratio of 175 to 1 for the 14, 8, 1408 motor, it means it's going to have real problems with heat buildup. That's how we approach that. Is there any way to adjust exposure on the air unit? Yes. Uh, uh, do you mean the O3 air unit? I'm going to guess that you do. If you swipe up on the pad, you get camera settings and you can change the camera from auto to manual exposure. Uh, that option is not anywhere else in the menus. And for the longest time, I didn't know that that menu existed. And now, now I do. That's how you can change that. Um, okay. Last super chat for a minute. Black Jungle says, thank you very much on your current Fly From Scratch series. I'll be showing your videos to a lot of people that want to get started over here. Indeed, that's, that's the purpose. Thank you for... Uh, for 20 Brazilian Ray eyes. Um, yeah, um, I, uh, I have been, one of the things that I do when I go away for work is I teach people how to fly. And um, I have spent a lot of time in the last couple of years teaching people how to fly. And it inspired me to re-record and restart 
my How to Fly series, teaching people how to fly from the very, very beginning, which I made back in like 2015, I think. And uh, I think I can do a, a better job at it now. So, um, What's the best way to get into 5-inch drones with the DJI V2 goggles and the controller too? Uh, Grant Boresberry, I'm very sorry to tell you there is no way to get into 5-inch drones with the V2 controllers and the controller too. The V2 goggles, sorry, the V2 goggles will only work. No, I take it back. I'm sorry. Sh cancel everything I just said. That's for the Vista. You're using, you're going to use the O3 and it's going to be fine. Um, you need to use the O3 air unit. It will work with the V2 goggles and the controller too. Will it? Shoot. Or is it only the go only the goggles too, and not the V two goggles? Damn it! <clears throat> I'm ninety nine percent sure that the O three air unit will work with both the V two goggles and the goggles too, and the V two controller. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna accept this. Um, and what I would suggest you do. What I would suggest you do is get, not this one, get this one. Uh, this is the beginner FPV drone kit. What makes it so good? Like, why is it better than anything else that's out there? Because I did the build tutorial. FPV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drones have been described. Stop, 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 stop. I did the build tutorial. And it's the most detailed, easy to follow, best build tutorial of an FPV drone to, in existence. I stand by that. Ooh, that's a bold claim. What about Troncat's build tutorial? Nope, inferior. Garbage. Come at me, Troncat. Let's go. I, my, I will nerd all up on your business. No. <laughs> um... Yeah, so basically anything you would want to do, it's all here. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, that's why you should buy it. <laughs> I saw on Reddit recently, uh, Troncat. Uh, Troncat has a 2023 uh, built drone build. That son of a bitch. His 2021, I think it was. His 2021 $200 drone build got like 2 million views, and I will never forgive him for that because uh, that's awesome. And I therefore must hate, I, like, I can't just be happy for him. I have to like, you know, how you, you, dare you. Um, and, uh, and I was like, he built the drone, but he didn't do the beta flight setup. And I was like, you 2 million views. Didn't even show him how to set up beta flight. Showed them how to build the drone. They can't fly it. Why didn't I get 2 million views? And then in his latest 2023 build, which came out a few months ago, uh, he does the beta flight setup. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's probably also going to get 2 million views. 